Well, we've got a lot longer program. Is <laughs> 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 uh, we started in the nineteen seventy nine, end of seventy nine, eighty, and uh, it's been like just the bands we play the same music for all these years. Only punk bands that still play the same music, but we got a lot of metal kids come come to the show, come to the show because they got a lot of music's. A lot of the punk stuff like we, we, we play, the rules punk, not like the commercial stuff, you get like bands of golf and shit like that. It's, uh, a lot of your music's like fast, and we play live, it's fa even faster. So like the last, what, seven, eight, well, maybe eight, seven, eight years, we've been, we've been getting a lot, a lot of metal kids coming to our show. It's just like, wouldn't it? Mm. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of metal people, like kids, you know, is it? Because I think maybe maybe between forty five percent of your audience is like metal kids. Okay, what uh, what uh, do the punk fans say about uh, this? Uh, punk fans, but it's, but they've got nothing to say because like because like punk punk to me is like it's for it's for the people, it's for the kids. It's not like you don't have to like dress like a certain way to like you have to dress like something to get like like the music. So, uh, I like Pink, like Pink Floyd, but I wouldn't go and grow my hair dead long. Okay. Because okay, you'd have to like, you'd have to be, you'd have to like uh, dress like something. Uh, punk, I mean, to me, punk's about it's about what's what's in your mind, not about what you dress. Your punk's about attitude and about what you about uh, your outlook in life. Whereas, but it's before I think the difference. Well, I used to think the difference between like punk and metal was like. Punk had like lyrics that meant something, whereas metal like they sung about their knobs and about their hair. Okay, but now I think there are a lot of bands like like Simpatura, uh, by by to the extent. Uh, excuse me, White, you know, bands like White Zombie. And that a lot, a lot, a lot of these bands like uh, like like they're coming across more. They're coming across more and uh, towards the punk scene about what you class as punk. Then what? Because before it was just, people used to say like bands like DRI, and like like they like by by us like they were like a crossover, like for hardcore into anti punk or punk into hard into metal. But now I think bands like like Sympatura, and I think they bands like they're, they're more like going bringing metal towards more like driving it towards the punk the punk. Uh, Type A element by the by the lyrics. If you know, if you understand that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because to me, I don't think there's no no difference. To me. I always thought punk and, and what metal was just the same, apart from like the lyrics were different. Uh, what are your uh, lyrics like on this album? We, we, we write the same thing we write about all, all same things we write about since the very beginning. We write, we write about things that affect my, like like things that like reality, things that are happening. Things that we experience, the things that we like, we see what's happening in the world. Like most, so some of those things that get really, um, things like I, like I hate, things that I think are unjust. Who are the bosses you're going to be? The bastards. <laughs> yeah. The ones, a lot of said, but the bastards. To me, it's the government. Eh? Any anything in authority. Anybody if they put rules down to control your life, and like don't and like the the, so the government has to put. You've got this country like on the, the worst base. It's okay if you've got money, but if you have no money, like, you see your friends growing up and they've got like, they've got fuck all. They, they, they struggle to get by. And like, they haven't got like any future. Then you see these people on TV like making all these statements and like they've got their heads stuck up their ass so, so far. They don't know what they're talking about. Right. But, but, they're, still, but they're still controlling your life. Uh, I read about uh, your worldwide trail of uh, destruction. You enjoy uh, smashing up uh, hotel rooms, I heard. What world? No, it's just uh, that's just been a. Uh, that's it's not just hotel rooms. Eh? We used to like we used to smash up lots of things, but that's everybody does. I mean, I don't know why. It's like a lot of things like we never done, and a lot of things we done because because of that uh, gigs that like, we used to smash up gigs, but but that's because. They did, the, the people with the, the security with that are, are, are like attacked some kids or 
or do you th- or do, like have you ever seen like like the security or attack kids or that or or the manage- or anything to do with the club like doing things against the people who come to the shows? Then we then we like we then we we have to try and do something about it. Because mm. mm. okay. a, a lot of clubs we used to be like a lot of clubs we played before like they like, they let they let people in then they they take them out again eh? Mm-hmm. Especially in America, they say like they have a lot of under underage shows, so you you got to be twenty one to go to a, a show a show of alcohol, and like they let the kids in, then they they kick them out. Can they just let them in to take their money? And so things like that like used to annoy us. So if it, if it didn't that, then we get annoyed. Uh, the album will be released at uh, the 26th of yeah. February. Uh, after that, you're releasing a single with uh, three techno dance no, mixes. No, that's, no, that's not happening. It's not. No. Okay, out of the world. No, like, no, that's, that's just a misunderst- misunderstanding. Eh? Okay. Like what? Like we talked about in a, a hard, like a hardcore Gabba track, but there was a misunderstanding. It's just, it's, and, uh, it's just, it's not happening. So it's not worth talking about. Okay, what are exploited uh, plans for uh, for uh, the near future after the well, release of the well, album? Well, we just have a video yesterday, mm-hmm. a proper video. Okay, and I think it's going to be mega. I think it's going to be really good. And uh, we could do some. I don't know. We'll try to try get some, maybe doing something on the MTV. And we've got we've got a tour of Holland. And then we need to, then we need to the next couple of weeks we need to like try. And, Sit, get time and sit down and, and try and get a, a tour lined up for Europe and trying to get an agent. But we've got we've got we've got people to get us gigs, but we need to, but we need to get somebody who can book us like a like a tour like to, to like uh, go to different countries, more or, organised. Because that's, that's what we need. So we're going to gigs because we've done nothing for three years almost because we've just been working on on this album. Okay, so this isn't a comeback. You've been working all the comeback, time. Comeback? No, it's a fuck. It's a fuck. Oh. But I've never been away. Okay. Getting gone. You've been writing all that time. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's been five years, two years. We we done the, promoting the massacre, like we done promoting to do a tour like, for the massacre. Then we had a, I think we got a year. I think we had about a year off or six months off, just like just like relaxing for once. And uh, the last three years we've done nothing but every day, like fucking work on this album. It's been a like, But I think I think when people hear it, I think like they'll appreciate the effort it's put on because it's, it's a good album. Which uh, track are you shooting a video for? Uh, Beat the bastard. Okay, the title track of the album. Yeah, yeah. it's fucking really good. Like, but what I see, what we what we seen what we seen of it yesterday, it looks like I'm just gonna be a mega video. Like, yeah, I'm excited to see it. Yeah, so, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, which uh, track from uh, the album uh, is your personal favorite? Uh, I've, got, I've got quite a few, uh, but I think. Uh, uh, let's see. You got 13 songs to choose from. Yeah, no, I think uh, Massacre Innocence or the system fucked up. I think. Uh, you are the vocalist of uh, the band. Do you write uh, all the lyrics? Yeah. Do you, do you write uh, the music as well? I would, no, I put, I put like, I don't, I don't like play the instruments, but I put the tunes together. Mm-hmm. I put like, 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 I give ideas like for songs and like, and come and just like, just go, hum the beats and that, and then they, then they play, give them the general, like, general like, riff and that, and then they, and then they just like, they, they take it from there. But uh, my brother, my brother, my boy, he's a drummer, he, he played the bass in it as well. The best night, like you know, he done a lot of work for that.